Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add rounded edges to your objects within Swift. Now in a simulator here, an example of what we're going to be doing today, we have a button and an image view. Now as you take a closer look on them, they have nice rounded edges. Well I say take a closer look, you can quite clearly see that the image has the roundest of edges. Now you would think that these images are set like this and it has a nice little board around the image and the button there, um, it looks like it's an image file itself with the nice rounded edges, but in fact it's not. Um, in the interface builder, these are just simple rectangle um, objects. We've added rounded edges on them uh, in terms of our button here and the image view. And we've given the image view a nice rounded border to go around to finish it off quite nicely. So it looks pretty good and it's a great styling option when creating your applications. So that's what we're going to be creating today. Already in my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it rounded edges for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay then, so to get started we need to then go configure our button and image view within our interface. So I'm just going to select it and change it to our iPhone size screen. And then we're going to go on to find a button and I'm going to simply add that in. Space it out there. I'll make it a little bit more bigger so you can clearly see the rounded edges on it and then we're going to go on to add an image view in. Let's place it underneath and again I'll space this out quite nicely. There we go. I'm going to select them both and just quickly add in some missing constraints so they can work on all different screen sizes. There we go. Okay so to kind of style it up we're going to try and create as similar to what we have in the um, preview on the simulator. So what I'm going to do is select our button and I'm going to quickly change the text color to white as we're going to have a black background so we can clearly see the rounded edges with on it and make it look a little bit more better I'm going to increase the text size so it stands out a little bit more. Now for the image view I'm going to add in this image we have on the desktop here it's of a Mercedes German car it's pretty nice we're going to add that into our project to so drag and drop it in and make sure we select copy items if needed and then once that's in, I'll simply name it there and add that into our um, image view there. Now, on this simulator, well, it looks very, very nice. But in the interface builder, it looks, looks plain and it's just square blocks, which which is fine. But if you want to go for that, you know, set your application apart and want to make it stand out, we can do little tweaks to objects to just kind of uh, give your application a better feel and make it more visually appealing to the user. So for us to give these rounded edges onto these objects, we first need to give both of these objects an outlet so we can refer to them. So I bring up the assistant editor and I'm just quickly space out the outlet section here. And we're going to start with the button and I drag and drop that in and I simply name this button and our image view and I simply name this image view. There we go, easy enough to understand when we come to the coding. Now that we've done that, we're simply going to close this editor, editor and bring up the standard editor again and jump straight into our view controller.swift. Okay then, so all this code is going to be placed in our view did load as we want it to all kind of look rounded as soon as the view loads up. So as soon as it's appeared, we want it all to come into force. So we're going to space out our view did load section here and we can now begin. So there's two ways of giving an object rounded edges basically. You can, I'm going to show you both ways. For the button, we're going to give them that simple rounded edges and for the image view, we're going to give it a more rounded overall kind of um, feature, which is why they look more rounded than just the simple edges to the button. But I'm showing you both ways because you never know, you might want to try either one of them. So how we do it then, we do simply self the name of our button, which we called it button, dot layer, as we are selecting the layer of our button. And then what we're doing then is getting our corner radius. And then what we're going to do to our corner radius is equal it to a number. Now the number is how much it's going to cut in to um, the edges of the corners of our object. So we're going to start with a nice simple number of five. So if we went to build and run, and test it out. 
and you can see that our, our um, button here has rounded edges. If I increase that size to let's say 10, so we double it, they become more rounded. So the higher the number, the more it cuts in to the corners to give it that rounded effect, which looks pretty good. It style makes you know a nice little style of our button, and it sets it apart from just the standard rectangular buttons. And it doesn't require us to have an image file within the button. So you know, in that kind of terms, it's reducing our memory size and still looking pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the image view, and we're going to give it the same rounded edges, but we're going to do that a little bit differently. So how we do that then? Again, just like our button, we do self dot the name of our image view, which is image view dot layer dot corner radius but this time we're not going to equal it to a number we're going to equal it to the frame size and width of our image view so we do self dot image view dot frame dot size dot width and we simply get that to um, forward slash let's give it a number in terms let's go for three and then we get our self dot image view dot clip to bounds to then equal true. Now what this is basically going to do is where the button curved the edges, um, the image view is now going to curve not just the edges, but it's going to link them up to the sides of the view and the width of it to make it stand out a little bit more. So if you go to build and run this time. You can see now that there is not only deeper than the curves on the button, but they cut in a lot sharper. And if we increased it, you can see how it works. So let's go to four, which is now easing out the curve and making it more of a square. Or well, we could simply lower it. Let's go to two instead. Now just changing the number by one digit can make a huge effect. And this is almost giving it a circular effect. But if we played with the size of our image view and made it more of a square than its original rectangle, we could create the perfect circle. So I'm going to simply quickly go back to three because it looked a little bit better. Actually, four looked a little bit better. Uh, quickly build and run that again. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to go to add some a border around our image view. So why would we add a border? Uh, maybe your application contains an image view. Maybe you're trying to show off some of your latest work or portfolio, or you just have a nice simple application that, that shows off images, like funny pictures and stuff like that. It's uh, important that you present these images um, well. And one way to do that is adding a border. Now it's brilliant adding borders because it really can set your application apart from all the millions of apps already out there. And again, what we do is self dot image view dot layer, as we're always working with the layer when it comes to editing anything to do with the image. And this time we do dot border width, space equals space, and then the number is how much it's gonna equal by, so how many pixels. So we're gonna choose five. Uh, that's pretty, it's a pretty thick border five is. You can adjust that however you want. And repeat the process again. So self dot image view dot layer because now we're going to move on to the border color so what color do we basically want the border to be and that's simply going to equal our ui color dot and we're going to choose a light gray seen as the image is kind of very dark and black and grays and stuff like that so this should complement it quite nice so a light gray color dot cg color so this time when we go to build and run, we'll have a nice bordered effect around our image view. And there you can see, it looks pretty nice. It really does look really nice. It's a great way to um, present images and even buttons to your users rather than the standard um, square blocks or rectangles with like you know 90 degree angle corners and stuff like that. It's just another way to visually make your application look that little bit more appealing. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. And if they do, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time, guys. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below.
If you want more on today and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.